A and B started a business. It was decided that A would get some profit as salary and the remaining profit would then be equally divided between two of them. Between the two of them. The respective earnings of A and B were 22,500 and 16,500. Had the entire profit been divided in the ratio of investments, B would have received rupees 7,500 more as his share of profit. Find the investment of A if B invested rupees 12,000. Okay, so basically the question is on partnership between two persons, A and B, who have started a business. It was decided that A would get some profit as salary, right? A would take some profit as salary. And then the remaining profit would be divided equally between the two of them, right? The remaining profit would be divided equally between these two persons after giving some part as salary to A. The respective earnings of A and B comes out to be 22,500 and 16,500, okay? Now, look at this. Had the entire profit, focus on the words here, had the entire profit been divided in the ratio of their investments, B would have received rupees 7,500 more as his share of profit. Find the investment of A if B invested rupees 12,000. So, if you see overall what we know is A and B have started a business, B invested 12,000, we have to find out A's investment. There are two use cases. In case one, they decided that A would get some part as salary and the remaining profit would be equally divided. And then we found that their earnings were 22,500 and 16,500 respectively. Now, if they decide that the entire profit, remember the total profit should be divided in the ratio of their investments, we find that B would have received rupees 7,500 more as his share of profit. So based on this, we have to find out what is the investment of A. So let's do this now. Understand, according to case 1, the respective earnings of A and B were 22,500 and 16,500. So basically profit of A is equal to 22,500. Profit of B is equal to 16,500. So can you say the total profit P is equal to 22, 16, 38 plus 1,000, 39,000? Yes or no? The total profit will be 39,000. And remember, the total profit will remain the same. The total profit is not going to change. What is changing here is the distribution, the way you are distributing it. Right? So these two values help us understand that total profit is 39,000. Okay? <clears throat> and this distribution is what? P's, uh, I mean, profit of A here is nothing but salary of A plus the uh, profit of A. Right? And here, Profit of B is nothing but the profit of B. I mean, he will not get any salary, right? In the case one, it was decided that A would get some salary. And the remaining will be divided equally. Okay. <clears throat> now, had the entire profit been divided in the ratio, entire profit, he says. So, the total profit, 39,000, should be divided in the ratio of their investments. B would have received rupees 7,500 more as his share of profit. Right? In that case, B would receive 7,500 more as his share of profit profit now understand guys in the second case we are trying to divide 39,000 between a and b this total profit 39,000 should be divided based on what based on the investment ratio right investment of a is to investment of b but what we find is <coughs> i mean there are two parts profit of a and profit of b let me take it as a dash and b dash so what happens is b gets 7500 more than a so let us assume let us assume a has got uh, let us assume a has got x here what will we get? X plus 7,500. And the point to be noted from this is that X plus X plus 7,500 is equal to 39,000. So find out the value of X. So 2X will be 13, uh, 2X will be 31,500 <coughs> and X will be equal to 15,750. Right? 15,750 two times is 31,500 plus 7,532 and 39. Yes, X comes out to be 17,500, which means the profit of A will be 15,750 and the profit of B will be 15,750 plus 7,500, which is like 22,000 plus uh, 1250, 23,250. You're getting it? Profit of A, I mean, PA dash in the second case comes out to be X, PB dash comes out to be X plus 7,500, which are 15,000, 20,000, Which means the same entire profit, 39,000, has been divided in A and B according to their investments and the values comes out to be 15,750 and 23,250. Remember, how have these profits been divided? These profits have been divided based on the ratio of their investments. Yes or no? In the second case, the entire profit has been divided in the ratio of 
investments so can i say pa dash by pb dash is equal to investment of a by investment of b yes or no yes we can say this just substitute the values so pa dash is how much 15750 divided by pb dash is how much 23250 equals to investment of a we have to find out divided by investment of b what is the investment of b 12000 given here can you solve this yes solve for investment of a from this i will leave it to you i am sure this is not going to be an integer value <coughs> do that calculation and we'll arrive at the answer and i'm sure the answer will not be 7500 many of you had marked the answer as 7500 i don't think it will come out to be 7500 it will be around 8000 because if you if you look at it <coughs> 15750 and 23250 are approximately in the ratio of 2 is to 3 2 two parts and 3 parts in that case if this is 3 parts 2 parts will be 8000 so somewhere around 8000 is the answer okay it will not be exactly 7500 so many of you had marked 7500 i think that's not what the answer is yeah i mean if you find out the ratio and then multiply or do the calculation it comes out to be approximately 8000 Right, eight thousand one, one, one thirty or so. So solve for eight to get the answer. 